Hey LinkedIn, I thought I would do another uh, little tip or idea overall here and talk about a video as a whole. Um, you know, it, it's it's truly exploding and I think a lot of companies, we come in contact with a lot of companies, we've done about 5,000 uh, video projects over the last couple of years. I think we have about 280 projects in production right now. And the thing I stress and the thing I talk about cl to, to clients all the time is how big this thing actually is and I, I think a lot of companies are starting to catch on. There's a lot of video out there, but there's stats like Facebook going all video in, in five years. Um, and, and, and it doesn't take much. You can just go search and search video stats and you start seeing how big it's becoming. But every single social media platform these days um, has a video tool built in. So LinkedIn, um, you know, uh, Facebook, uh, Twitter, you can do video, video advertising, Instagram, obviously all these different tools, not to mention YouTube and Vimeo. And you start looking at it and, and buyers, people, whether it's B2B or B2C, we deal mainly B2B um, and it's very, very important there, but they're, they're looking online, they're searching on sites like YouTube. You can go to YouTube and search for things the same way you can on, on Google. And so people are going to YouTube and search for things and you wanna make sure that you come up, you wanna make sure that wherever people are, you essentially have massive exposure and you're in those areas in the right ways. So whether it's mapping out an entire sales sequence campaign that kind of walks the buyer's journey, walks through the entire buyer's journey, or little snippets that we call micro ads, 15 second pieces that are that are teasing people or pushing little pain points and different things like that and piquing their interest and pulling them in to go and reach further, or a video that leads to a landing page where people can go, you really wanna map out the video strategy and, and and, and really look at it from a big thing standpoint and think, what are all the touch points? What do we need to be doing from customer service videos, from um, deploying sales enablement all the way from lead through to close, from internal sales training videos? Uh, people are watching and it's becoming the medium uh, to use to either educate people or sell people or whatever. And if you do it right, a lot of your customers can be sold before they actually pick up the phone and contact you. Um, so it's very big and I think, I think having fundamentally as the, as the ecosystem, having a YouTube channel that um, has everything and has a huge amount of content there is very, very important. And if you look at your YouTube channel and you pull it up and it's, it's kind of sparse or it looks dismal or it's not well put together, right there is a problem. That's one place to start. And you can build out playlists for every single product you have. Do you have a campaign for every single product or service? Um, do you have customer service videos and help videos? Do you have little snippets to arm the marketing team and sales team to sort of pique people's interest and bring them in? Um, and, 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 and are you fully covered from a video strategy standpoint? So I think the core thing is to really look at it from a standpoint of not just, hey, we need a product video for this trade show that's coming up, but what's the overarching video strategy that we're going to deploy to help marketing, help sales, help training, um, you know, whether it's M&A integration, if you acquired a company, all of those different things are critical in this day and age and it's only getting bigger. Um, you can obviously put on YouTube, you can obviously put on your site, but I think sometimes people think too small about it and they think, well, you know, I, I put a, 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 an explainer video or something on our website. You know, that's, that's good. Um, that's a good first step, but but it's a lot bigger than that. You really need to be looking at it from a standpoint of what's the video strategy and, and what do we actually need to get in front of our prospects, stay in front of our prospects or customers uh, and and make sure that we're ahead of them and we're answering all the different questions and we've really sort of optimized the strategy to take advantage of, of every avenue that you can on every platform, all of the social media platforms, including YouTube and Vimeo and your site and so forth. So something to think with, really look at it from mapping out the sales strategy, what is the video strategy, what is the marketing strategy connected to video, what is the customer care strategy, uh, what is the training strategy, and start looking at it as a whole and, and, and then really start executing on that and you'll be in a lot better shape. Okay, if you like it, hit like, and uh, if you have any questions, leave it in the comments. All right, thanks.